Hello and welcome from Eastern Europe, my name is called BRHD and this time I want to finish my series about games like Baldur's Gate with a great news, this genre is not dead. Absolutely, that right. So I did my research and I want to present you a list of awesome upcoming classic isometric RPG games which will enlighten our gaming path in 2019. Iron Danger Game is a Finnish folklore-inspired, story-driven, turn-based tactical RPG with, as we can see, beautiful but a bit claustrophobic environments. Main protagonist is a woman, probably meaning that you cannot create the character you want. Well, usually I would say that this is a bad thing, but after playing Witcher games I'm not so sure about that, because you can make more realistic scenario if you know what you are writing about. But putting all this information aside, it's kind of weird that this trailer focuses on some bearded giant instead of main protagonist, which is a girl, right? So it's a bit confusing. What is the message? I don't understand. Neither do I. Iron Danger has one interesting mechanic to offer. You can rewind time and take another path of fighting or puzzle solving. That would be really handy thing in real life. An example, if you drank a lot of vodka yesterday and today you realize that you had a bit too many. You have terrible headache, you're vomiting in the toilet, near toilet, on the toilet, on your mother. It's a sad day for you. But imagine if you could rewind your life to yesterday and instead of vomiting you could drink all that vodka again. Druidstone, the secret of many forest. As we can see, game has wonderful graphics and really nice special effects. Everything is okay in that front, so let's dig deeper. In the world of Druidstone, the Druids possess a great power. They can reincarnate, meaning that they can die and then return to the body of a former self. I don't understand. Yes, that sounds complicated. So, you are a druid named Leonard. Oh wait, not Leonard, but Leonhard? It's like a nickname for doing porn, right? Leonhard? <laughs> I can only imagine the meeting where the name was decided. I was thinking about the name. How about Leonhard? Isn't it a bit pornish? No. Okay then. Game promises challenging handcrafted missions with playtimes from 15 to 45 minutes and unique fantasy setting combining elements from western RPGs, JRPGs and tactical board games. Druidstone will be released somewhere around spring of 2019. Wasteland 3 Creators of Wasteland 2 and Torment Tides of Numenera are on a roll of releasing new sequel of well-known series. It's gonna be a party-based role-playing game with a focus on strategic combat and complex story. This time game will include environmental dangers, more fluid action system vehicles and also will support cop mode. Wasteland 3 will be set in the savage lands of frozen Colorado, where survival is difficult and happy ending is never guaranteed. Well, maybe except if your name is Leonhard, then you can get twice as many happy endings. In Wasteland 3 you have to face difficult moral choices and make sacrifices that will change the game world. At the time of making this video, Wasteland 3 had no exact release date announced, but now it's known that you can play the game on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Black Gazer, Couriers of Darkness at the time of making this video, Black Gazer already had $100,000 of pledges on Kickstarter and more than double the amount of money they asked for making this game a reality. Inspired by Baldur's Gate, Icewind Dale and other classics, Black Gazer is an isometric party-based single-player RPG with some nice key features. You can have a party up to 5 characters with rich personalities and past. You can choose your own character from several races and classes, you can pause the game at any time and free roam across wilderness and dungeons. Sounds wonderful. I know, right? So when we can expect the birth of this game? Ladies and gentlemen, please check your calendars for August. Encased Another sci-fi post-apocalyptic isometric role-playing game, heavily inspired by the famous RPGs of late 90s. Here player is a participant in project researching the technology and artifacts of long-gone civilization. So be prepared for dangerous anomalies and cool artifacts like alien vodka making machine or potato salad generator from outer space. Game is quite short, campaign will last about 30 hours, but creators say that Encased will have 
have significant replay potential, because world will change along with the actions you do and the decisions you make. If I were creator, I would say the same, but only time will tell if that's true. Also, the game will take place in an open world, so you could go anywhere you want and do anything you want. But I'll come anywhere I want! Okay, chill out, Leonhard. I doubt this will be a possibility, but you never know. Nowadays RPGs keep surprising us. So anyway, in Encased, when moving from one location to another and traveling around the world, random events can occur. So game is quite dynamic and let's hope not boring. Early access will be available in the first quarter of 2019. Realms Beyond Creators have promised that the game will have complex turn-based combat system featuring hundreds of spells, feats and actions. Interesting thing that they have custom-built isometric graphics engine that combines zoomable 2D and 3D technology which can bring to life extremely detailed and massive handcrafted levels. As we can see from a trailer, game is truly beautiful and full of colors. Creators said that here you can pick your character from 7 different races and 8 different different classes, completely customize their appearance, equipment and everything else. Also game offers amazing opportunity to create your own adventures, campaigns or even entire worlds. And almost gone right now. Game will enter early access stage in late 2019. That's it, thank you for watching, now it's the time for you to click that subscribe button and also notifications bell. You can also support me on Patreon, you will find the link below. Have a nice day, bye.